I didn't really. Sorry. That was just to, uh, you know. Yep, that was just to make sure I woke up for turnips. Okay, alright, come on. Alright. We're good. Okay. Christ, okay. All right. <coughs> Shit. <coughs> Damn it. All right. Hey, everybody. Today is the flea market. All right. You know what? I'm going to... Oh, damn it. I was going to take a screenshot. Fuck. Oh, wait. Oh, well. Okay. Damn it. All right. Pluck the weed. How much money do I have on me? Okay, so I don't have that much money on me. Um, I could very easily go get a money rock. Very easily. Oh, hey, holy shit, here's Joan. Okay. Hey, can I get a red turnip, please? What do you want to hear about? Red turnips, please. Sorry, kiddo. Fuck! Come back next week. Damn it. Alright. Oh shit. Alright. Well, that's fortunate. All right, my budget is typically like 50 grand for turnips, so. Oh, damn it, man. Thought I had enough space. Holy shit, yo. Nice. Haley's house is upgraded again. Alright. God, I'm looking at the live stream and it's just like, it's all kinds of just glitching out. Why, I have no idea, but it just is. I mean, I have a half an hour before Joan goes away. That's cool. Please browse all you like. All right. He doesn't have, um... He doesn't have a spotlight item, it doesn't look like. Oh, hey, cool, a white pawn. All right, I don't know if I have that or not, but... All right, well... All right, that's really all I want is, you know, just this. The white pawn, all right, cool. 1100 bucks. All right, well. Uh. Mm -hmm. 
That sucks. <clears throat> Grandma's dying again, so that sucks. And let's uh, go to the old folks' home. <laughs> Oh shit, I can hear the fountain! Yo! Alright, okay. Well, fuck, I... Okay. Hey, yeah, the fountain's here, and it didn't mess with the, uh, the, the, uh, the pond. I was really worried that because it was gonna spawn right next to the pond, it was gonna mess that up, but cool. Alright. Hey, tour timer. Hey, buddy. Good news! Uh... Our fountain is finally done. All right, this I am going to take a screenshot of for good old Instagram. Cool. And today is the opening ceremony. The term ceremony is rather loosely as all of our funds have been depleted by the fountain. All right. But you should smile because smiles are free and... Because party hats cost money. Alright, so... Just because I'm curious, am I still able to donate money to the town fund or no? That's fucking weird. Okay. Have you seen the fountain we built by the gate? Real quick, take another screenshot. There's no way the town could have afforded such a great found fountain without the support from people like you. Yet I was the only person who did it. I sh I sure hope we can count on you to continue the the grant. Oh, all right. Okay, well, hold on. Okay, so I don't know what donating more money would do, but... Uh, I guess withdrawal my money. Alright, uh... Here, wait, hold on. Like I said, I have time. I have, I have like 20 minutes. So the amount that I have in savings, I'm gonna go ahead and just update the text document. Uh, okay, today is part 114 on the 25th. Cool. Oh, uh, amount in savings, 39 grand. Oh, oops. Alright. Alright, go ahead and... Alright. Cool. Thanks for stopping by. Alright. Space do I have in my inventory? Not that much. What the fuck? Oh. Um, uh. Alright, really quick. Let's go find Joan. Oh, god damn it. All right, I'm not mad about that. I'm really not. So that means we have five fossils to give. Oh yeah, and also today's the flea market. Shit, oh, I gotta go get that bed. You know, I should probably do that first, honestly. And go get the bed. But I don't remember where it is. I know it's on the bottom layer, I know that. Mm 
Alright. Really, really super quick. Let's go get that bed. And also I gotta go go flag down. Okay, Joan's right here. She's not going anywhere for like 15 minutes. I don't remember where that fucking bed was. It might be Sally's house and I gotta wait for Sally to come home. Okay. Puddles is not home. This is Cube's house. You know what, does Cube have anything? Does Cube have anything worth buying? Okay. Oh, you know what? I could get that fish off him. I don't know what the fuck this fish is. What is this fish? Hey, oh, Cube. Hey, Chill J. Welcome to Cube's uh, Shop of Awesomeness. All right, cool. Hey. Dude. Yes. Fucking Christ. Okay, what is this? Popeye goldfish. Okay. Is pretty magical, bite me. Just having in your house makes tomato bisque look three times as delicious. Okay, I actually like tomato bisque. Holy shit, I'm not spending $2,500 on it. Fuck you, I already have it, right? I already, yeah, I already have, hold on. Yeah, Popeye goldfish, but the problem is I don't have the sell price for it. I'll, I'll look that up on, uh, if I catch another one, I'll go ahead and check it out, but I'm not, all right, asshole. He's trying to rip me off on a fucking fish, dude. I'm not doing that. Oh shit, that's right. Uh, fuck. I was, gonna, I was gonna tell my friends we're, you know. Hey, Joan, what's up? Oh, Jesus, the buying price is 102. Fuck. That seems like all I could really, you know, buy. Cause I, I do well. I could buy more. I'm gonna preface that, but I don't, I don't want more. The last time I did this bullshit, I left, I left, you know, I let it go for too long, and they spoiled. All right. Sally is right here, and I think Sally's house is the one. Munch my gooch. God damn it, what the fuck? Ah, oh, damn it. Fuck my throat, dude. You okay, sweetheart? Shit, what is wrong with my throat? Damn. Yeah, too much dick. Thank you. 
I'm genuinely curious. Oh, god damn it. What the fuck? Oh, all right, well. Okay, all right. That's two out of the three today. Pluck the weed. I mean, that's, that's almost all of them. All right. All right. God, I have to watch that fucking cutscene seven times. Pasta. No way, dude. Alright, let's go, uh... Please tell me, one of these seven has to be something. Alright, wake your ass up, blathers. Now then, how may I assist you, uh... Uh, check a fossil, please. I have seven of them. Alright. Hit this one. <clears throat> Fascinating. Yes, I have now. Blah, blah, blah. The Seismo chest. I already have that. Ugh. Yes. Alright, cool. Come on. Hit this. Yes, fascinating. I have now, aha. Uh -huh. The Ankleo. I already have that. Just stockpile these for a couple of days. The Iguanodon Tail. Alright, cool. Do I already. Hold on, do I, do I already. Yeah, it's three grand. Okay. Yes, I have more stuff. With all speed. All right, come on. Just tell me one of these dinosaurs is something that I need. The raptor torso. I already have that. I already have that. <clears throat> yes. Come on. All right, we got three more. Can we do it? One, just, I just need, well, I, I only need two dinosaurs left. The Apto Skull, I already have that. All right, last two, come on. Damn it. All right, last one, last one. All right, well. All right, are there any of those that I'm missing for the text document as far as their sell price goes? Okay, Ankylosaur, I already have. Still missing the patchy tail and the mammoth torso. That sucks.
Yeah, none of these, I'm, okay. I mean, I'm still gonna get a shit ton of money, so. I am still gonna get a lot of money. It doesn't matter. But, you know. I hear the damn mole cricket, but I'm not I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, geez, cool. 25 grand. Oh, Oh, you know what I could do? Hold on. Look, first things first, let's really quick, just because I'm curious, go hit the Able Sisters. I don't want anything at the Able Sisters. <clears throat> Oh, my back is killing me for some reason. Alright, I'm gonna go scope around for houses, trying to see if I can't find something. I'm really hoping I can get that bed that I've been looking for. All right, these two people are home. Gaston's house. I mean, not really, honestly. I don't. I don't I'm not interested. Why is it that nobody has, you know, shit that I want? 
Rizzo at least had that fucking tuna a long time ago that I couldn't buy. Hey, Miranda's home. Hey, sweetheart, what's up? Hi. Hey, love you. Can I get a kiss? Mwah. Oh, hey, cool. I actually don't need this, but I just... I actually need this to sell because I need to see the price of this. Alright, so she's not going to sell the dinosaur bones. That sucks. Oh, fuck. You know, I just realized I got toaster strudels. Damn. Uh, yes, please. Oh, yeah, hey, babe, check it out. I upgraded your house. It was only 120 grand, you know. I was like, that's this easy. Damn it, these people aren't home. You know, I haven't seen Rizzo. Rizzo usually has some good shit. Damn it, he's not home. Damn it. Yo, Rizzo had a fucking tuna a couple of months ago. Yeah, and I fucking... I participated in the flea market, but when I went to his house, he didn't have it anymore. All right, shit, okay, so, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to the city real quick, just to refresh the map, and hopefully people are, uh, you know, going home. Cause I can't enter their house unless they're in their house, so. Damn. Little box. All right. Hey, it's raining in the city. That's cool. I can hear the windshield wipers on the bus. Go round and round. Cause I'm curious. I mean, I know I already checked in here. I know he's got, I know what he's got. Well, it ain't my favorite cans and, and then this is, I know for a fact that this painting is fake. And the only reason why I know it's fake is because we bought the real one literally a week ago, so it was the uh, the fine painting. Hey, it's Tutu. Wait, is Gracie Grace closed? No, it's not. Okay, dude, the fucking shit at Gracie Grace is so goddamn expensive. It's like the most expensive store in the entire game. Holy shit, okay, apparently people have been buying the stuff outright, because it's, you know... What's what's this piece of furniture called? The Princess Series, okay. Yeah, how much is it? Because it's on sale, it's... Oh, it's on sale for 30% off. It's 154000 Fuck that. It's like, I don't care, you know, how much this shit fucking costs. Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's a Caterpillar shirt. No. 
Oh, it's noon, so Joan's gone. The uh, the turnips that I bought are gonna have to. Uh... Oh, hey, the Gracie Grace outfit. I'm not buying this fucking shit. The fucking princess stuff. If you want it. Oh, hey, the bridal veil. Yeah. Oh, thank you, babe. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me move my stuff. Thank you. Oh, is that it right there? Yeah, that's the princess stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, I can see it on the back of the cat. Yeah, well, that's... No, we're live streaming. Oh. The bridal veil, it's 30... Oh! You know what? All right, I'll take it. Yes. Are you my bride? Oh, even though I bought it, it didn't... Huh, cool. That's weird. Because you see stuff that's sold out, like, typically when you buy... Okay. How much is the, uh, the princess carpet? The same one on display in the store. Handcrafted by artists. How much is it? Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm not spending that much on a carpet. I mean, I'm half tempted to get that stuff for you, but it's too fucking expensive, man. I like the lovely stuff. I don't remember what it looks like, but... Yeah, the, you got the, the, the pink lovely stuff, which is, you know, fine. Hey, another, uh, Igly. What? No, the, uh, the, the penguins. Alright, what about the auction house? I haven't been to the auction house in a long time because I can't get it to work. Like, I don't know why, but, like, yes, welcome to the auction house. We're currently accepting bids on nothing. Great, okay. Can you put something up? I could, but I have to wait for the auction to start, and it, I, I, I can never get there in time. I don't know what the fuck he wants me to do. And he's just like, oh, the next auction, uh, we're, we're accepting shit. I'm like, okay, cool. And I show up. And he's like, sorry, we're not accepting stuff. I'm like, fuck you. What's that? Oh, this is the, uh, the fortune teller. Ooh. Oh, she's open. Is okay. Fortune yeah, I, uh, I never bothered to what? use, yeah. I never bothered to use the fortune teller. This is exactly like the fortune teller in Zelda. Yeah. As well as every other, uh. My lost soul of the cancer sign. Weary traveler of many winding paths, blah, blah, blah. I can unravel... Un, un, wait, is that a... Oh, fuck, I'm fucking dyslexic. I am Katrina. Wait, I've talked to you before. Why am I getting this dialogue? No, she says, I, Katrina, will foresee your future. Oh. Not I am Katrina. Oh, whatever. It's, I want the charm. What? The charm. Yeah, what? How to bring oh. you more happiness. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. Fucking weird. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like it. Oh Jesus! Oh, All right. Scared the fuck out of me. Aha! I see it. A hidden charm that averts trouble and. Yes, you must catch a ladybug in Dr. Pepper. This is Dr. Pepper's April charm. Oh shit! Okay, there's tons of ladybugs. Okay. It must be performed by a visitor from another village. Oh. And it may be only they who reap the charm's reward. Oh. That is all. May happiness find you. Okay, I'm gonna get my fortune. Alright, well, okay, she only does one per day. Fuck, alright. Okay, cool. So I have to have, you know, online connectivity and have somebody fucking catch a ladybug in my town. That's real fucking great. Alright. Do I count or no? No. It has to be somebody from, like, I could do the whole DS suitcase thing, but that would require me setting up a second Nintendo Wii. Yeah. Which I was going to do that anyway for, um... Uh, to, uh, uh, get the other fruits, because I'm starting to get really impatient. All I would need to do is, uh, set up another Nintendo Wii, pop the game in, access the DS suitcase, transfer the character to the DS, take the disc out, put it in, in the Wii U, and then, uh, load up my profile, access the DS suitcase, and the character that I put in the DS will get, you know... And also, I'm hoping whatever's in their pockets will transfer. So, what I was going to do is, is on a Nintendo Wii, I was going to go ahead and keep resetting until I get a different fruit that I don't have, yeah. you know. 
and then fill my pockets completely with the fruit and also probably a bug net. That'd be real great so I can get the, you know, uh, the ladybug. That's that's the one thing that we haven't tried yet. Oh. Wait, then how did you get my over That's that was transfer from the uh, from Wild World, not the DS suitcase. The DS suitcase is something completely different. So basically, if I wanted to, I can take this character, transfer them to the DS suitcase, and then you know, let's say for example, I go over to Tyler's house and I can pop my character into his his thing. And go steal a shitload of his fruits. Alright. Cube's still home. It looks like refreshing the map didn't do anything because nobody looks to be home. I don't think Puddles is the person. Damn it, Sally's right there. Fuck. Alright. This is Sally's house. Sally's at least close to her house. Maybe I could, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch her for a little bit. Maybe she, uh, maybe she goes back in her house. Cause like, I mean, I have all day for the flea market, but at least I think. All right, respect the toaster strudel. Just like the rainbow. Yo, what if they had Skittles toaster strudels? Huh? I would get fucking diabetes in, a, in like a week. Mm. Alright. Hey Sally, why don't you go home? Nope. Oh, you know, never push me around like that. Fuck. Why don't you knock? Oh, God damn it. All right. Well, now she's not going to want to do business. Damn it. I forgot villagers actually had a personality. You know, it looks like I'm not going to be able to get the golden axe until tomorrow because I got to wait for tour timer to move. Because what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to get in front of the fountain and throw your axe in there. But Tor Timer's in the way. Why are you there? Huh? Because it's the opening ceremony. That's typically what he does. On holidays and opening ceremonies to certain events, he uh, he stands outside the uh, town hall. And like he either gives you a gift or tells you something special about the holiday. Little bit of this, little bit of that. <clears throat> little bit of cinnamon. Ah. You know what I think would be great in uh, Reese's Puffs? A little bit of cinnamon. You can agree with that? Now I kind of want a bowl of Reese's Puffs and just, you know, put a little bit of cinnamon in there. We have Reese's Puffs, we just don't have that. Milk. Milk. Yeah. Well, whose fault is that? No. <laughs> Damn it, I'm pretty sure Sally's the one with the fucking, the bed that I want. Oh, she's still pissed off. Damn it, look. <laughs> Damn it. Can you give her something? I... Hold on, I think talking to her is only gonna make it worse. Why are you even talking to me? I don't. Do I know you? Oh, god damn it! All right. Yeah, she's definitely pissed. Shit! Oh, there's something buried right here that I didn't see. It's it can't be a fossil because I already got my three per day. Watch it be a fucking. Yeah. Either that or a gyroid. Okay. She's gonna get too pissed off at me to the point where she's gonna move out. 
I didn't, I like, all I wanted her to do was go home. So I can give her money. Is that too much to ask? Really? Hmm? Yeah, I want, I want some nut. You guys, my girlfriend's gonna nut on me. Yeah. Oh shit. Come on. Alright, hold on. And then watch this. <laughs> there you go. People with nut allergies rejoice. Yeah, I just sprinkled a little bit of nut on my, uh, uh, whatchamacallit. I like how this is half of Jesus. Yeah, that yeah, that, I would say that's a, that's a whole one. I wait, pecans. Those are supposed to be walnuts. What? No, I have pecans. Oh, I was like, wait. Almonds. Almonds. <laughs> I was like, would you say that walnut is your favorite nut and you prefer it over every other nut? Yeah. You are. Are you aware that what we're eating is called almonds? Almonds. almonds. Fucking crazy. I fuck. I fucking love Chris. I really do. Uh, I don't know exactly when, but uh, he got a dog named Booger, huh. and uh, he um, that's a, it, it is a really nice dog to be fair. But like, I fucking love Chris stories where like he's just like he's telling fucking stories. Oh god damn it! Where yeah, he was telling a story. He was telling the story about the dog, uh, Booger, and, uh, they were going on some fucking road trip, right? And, uh, Booger had, for lack of a better term, a accident in the car, right? Mm -hmm. And the, uh, they were, he was telling the story on a podcast, and every now and then, um, when they're telling stories on podcasts, they'll turn them into animated adventures. Mm -hmm. And they decided to animate that, and it was pretty fucking funny. You know, and I highly recommend it for anybody watching because it's pretty fucking funny. And it's just like, I love dogs. I really do. But that's like something that I have nightmares about is, you know, a dog doing that on my car. I still love the dog because, you know, dog, dog's cool, but yeah. that's not their fault. You know, they're fucking animals. Of course, they're going to do that shit. Quite literally. Yeah. I was thinking about getting those, uh, those, uh, weather tech things. Oh yeah, speaking of, you know, upgrading my car, let's go get that fucking dash cam in the closet. Oh, yeah. I said I was saving the dash cam specifically for getting a new car, because I did not want to put that dash cam in my old car. There was just no fucking way I was going to do it. I just, there was just no way. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to waste the damn money. I know. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, you know what I just realized, sweetheart? What? When your house got bigger, there was a rose next to your house, and because your house got bigger, it deleted the rose. Man, all right. They see me rose in my garden. I know it's just my line of work, but like, you know, a lot of people that I talk to, like they look at my fingers and they're just like, oh, do you do gardening for a living? I'm like, not for a living, no. Wait, why do you think you do gardening for a living? Like, my, my fingernails, there's a bunch of shit under my fingernails. Oh, I feel like yeah, well, you know, I also work with my hands doing manual labor at work, so. Who is this Jake from State Farm at three in the morning? Is, uh, what are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Khakis. She sounds hideous. Well, she's a guy, so. <laughs> oh, fucking Christ. You gotta love Jake from State Farm. You, you know they changed Jake from State Farm to being a black dude, like, from that one commercial? I was like, I don't really care. I'm just, I'm just like, why? Like, was there, like, a precedent? Was there... Yeah. like they upgraded the Wendy's girl. Yeah, well... No, listen, the Wendy's girl that was in the older commercials was actually the Wendy girl that yeah, was- Yeah, they changed her because they wanted her to- Yeah, because he's like, oh, she's fat. and like, no. Yeah, she's fucked up. 
Th yeah, that is fucked up. Like, that's actually Dave's daughter, you know? Like, Jesus. Like, I, I don't know, like... Shit like that, I don't agree with because it's actually her. You know, that is Wendy, you know? Like, and then, you know... What? I want Wendy's too. Fuck, man. So, I'll have Wendy's again, motherfucker. I'll do it. Watch me do it right now. I will get in my car right now, and I will go to Wendy's out of spite, motherfucker. Watch me do it. Yeah, watch me do it. And also, out of spite, I will go to Wendy's and just get something for myself, and I won't get anything for you. How, how would you like them apples? No, I wouldn't actually do it. Hey, Sally. What a beautiful day. Okay, cool. She calmed down. All right. What do you think of this top I'm wearing? Nice, right? It was designed by Sino of Tree Nut. Oh, Tree Hut, excuse me. Uh, I love wearing foreign designs that make me feel nice. Uh, wearing clothes uh, you can't just get anywhere. All right. Holy shit. Yo, 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 babe, 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 babe. Hold on. Neon Tetra. Neon Tetra. Wait, okay, hold on. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. We might have the Neon Tetra. Babe. Watch. Fuck. It's, it's, oh, damn it. It's right on the fucking bridge. I can't fucking get it. Ugh, cast the fucking line. Thank you, Jesus. All right. No, damn it. I'm scaring him. That's definitely tiny enough where it's the Neon Tetra. It's tiny enough. No, don't go under the bridge! No! I fucking cast the line! Alright, come on. Notice me, senpai! Fuck! What happens if you go under the bridge? It didn't, it's gonna be really, really hard to get. Oh. Ah, damn it, stop going under the bridge! I can't see you now. Fuck, alright, I'm hoping I, to lure him out this way. That's definitely tiny enough where, oh, uh, wait. Oh, God damn it. Now I can't see it. I have to fucking listen. I hear a balloon. Fuck. All right, hold on. Hold on. He possibly went this way, which exactly. Uh, okay, all right, he did. All right, you know what? Fuck the balloon. Fuck the balloon. Damn it. Dude. What? I know. Oh, there, there's the balloon over there. Okay, you know what? Here, don't run. The fish is not going anywhere. As long as I don't run, it won't scare him away. All right. Fucking Christ, dude. Jesus. All right. Oh, all right. I like how I drop everything just for that. All right. All right, round two, motherfucker. Let's do this. Okay, all right, he's going this way. All right, cool. All right. No, 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 stop going that way. Fuck. Damn it. You little fucking... I, I swear to God, you better be the Neon Tetra. Fucking cast the line. No, God damn it. Stop going under the bridge. Ugh. Damn it. If this is not the Neon Tetra, I'm gonna fucking cry like a little bitch. And he just keeps going onto the bridge. Fucking the silver fishing rod is supposed to help. Jesus fucking Christ. I am gonna cry so hard. You make a grown man cry just like fucking McJagger. And he's onto the bridge again. Oh, fucking Christ. My toaster shoes are getting cold. Oh, what? God damn it. Okay. Hold on. Let him turn around. So help me, Batman. Alright. What? Where'd he go? There he is. Okay, Jesus. Alright. Keep going this way. Alright. And then... Ugh! No! Nope, wait, okay. It's just scaring him away. Ugh, come on. I mean, once he notices me... Oh, there he goes. Okay, alright. God, no. Did you see that? 
Okay, he's biting. He's biting. No, motherfucker! Oh! Good job. God damn it! Oh! Fuck! Oh, I'm so glad that was on live stream, cause now everybody would be like, "You're a little bitch." I am. God damn it! I I don't know, cause I I don't know. Maybe I just wanted you to be proud of me, and be like you did it. Okay. okay. Thanks. I mean, I have almost the rest of the year to get the Neon Tetra. I just wanted to get it out of the way. That thing was definitely tiny enough to be the Neon Tetra. Another Loach. All right. The Loach goes away late, uh, late, later, I think, next month. Do you think Eric Andre would love that? It's a ranch simulator. Eric Andre fucking loves ranch. Yeah, dude. Part of the sketches on the Eric Andre show is just him walking around New York City with a fucking bottle of ranch dressing just fucking drinking it in front of people yeah also another one of the bits that like well one of them it was just like there was like a five-year-old kid fucking like talking to him like i, I didn't actually watch the bit i just know the meme because it was a screenshot and, he, and he's just like i'll drink to that little bro and he's just fucking doing shots of fucking ranch dressing Wait, turnip boy? Turnip boy. What? Tax evasion. Tax evasion, all right. <laughs> There's also another part uh, of uh, one of the Expendables movies where there was, uh, it was Wesley Snipes. And he was, you know, uh, like a fucking, uh, I think it was a doctor or something like that or whatever. And it's like, I, I haven't seen the movie in a long time. And... The, the, like, in real life, Wesley Snipes went to jail, uh, for tax evasion, and, like, like, before they rescued, uh, Wesley Snipes in the movie, uh, they were swapping stories, like, yeah, I heard he, he uh, he got locked up and went to jail for killing a shitload of people and stuff, and then, um, they finally bust him out of jail, and they go, like, they, they rescue him, they're on the fucking, uh, on the plane, right? And then, uh, so they finally asked him, was like, so, what did you, uh, oh, hey, Riri's in the chat, what's up? They, they no, they, they asked him, was like, so, what'd you, uh, what'd you get locked up for? Murder, uh, genocide? And he was like, tax evasion. <laughs> it's like, the fuck? <laughs> and then also there was the, uh, the bit with Chuck Norris where, um, uh, they, like, uh, I think it was uh, Sylvester Stallone. He goes up to Chuck Norris and he goes, "Hey man, I thought you I heard you I heard you died." And then uh, I think it was Jason Statham, I think, uh, says, "Yeah, didn't you get bit by a, a rattlesnake?" Or no, it was King Cobra. Uh, he's like, "Didn't you get bit by a King Cobra or something?" And then Chuck Norris in typical Chuck Norris fashion was just like, "Yes." And after 5 agonizing days of pain, the King Cobra finally died. <laughs> 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 Fucking Christ. I fucking love that movie. It's just, it's, it's like the entire trilogy, the, uh, the Expendables trilogy is just nothing but, you know, cheesy one-liners like that. It's fucking funny. I honestly, like, I have the first one and the third one on DVD. Um, the, uh, the third one was the one where they had Antonio Banderas. Where, like, the whole reason they had Antonio Banderas in the movie, um, uh, Expendables 3 
Um, one of their team members, spoiler, uh, he died, right? He was, a, he was a young kid that had just got added to the group. Uh, again, spoilers. And, um... They went on, like, some fucking Craigslist fucking thing for, you know, mercenaries, right? Because they're a bunch of mercenaries. And they put on their ad they were looking specifically for a younger man, right? That's, you know, always sketchy, right? And Antonio Banderas responded to the ad and said, meet me at this abandoned warehouse at midnight or some shit, right? And so, uh, Sylvester Stallone and uh, Jason Statham, they went to the warehouse to go be meet this new potential team member to their team, right? And out of like the rafters, like Antonio Banderas jumps down and he's like, so here I am. And then Sylvester Stallone's like, you're not a 29 year old man. And he's like, yes, but I have the, the body of a 29 year old man. <laughs> it's like, the, like they were just making fun of Antonio Banderas for being old. And I was like, dude, I would totally love to have Antonio Banderas on my team, dude. Fuck, that's awesome. Did you see him in Zorro? <laughs> yeah, right? He kicked ass in Zorro, man. And fucking carving Z's in people, you know? Cool. cool. Yeah, and he was also the dad in Spy Kids. Like, come on. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that for the longest time. <laughs> well, that he was the dad? Yeah. Yeah. I just remember that one scene where he's, like, doing the brain thing. Which is really weird if you think about it. Cause oh, because he was, like, making the brains? Yeah. <laughs> Like and then he took a walnut and smashed it with a hammer like they wouldn't know. Yeah, like the kid, the kids are calling. No, the third movie where he's like the kids are calling. He's like, Ugh, and he just yeets it across the, the his desk. His oh, are you talking about Spy Kids 3D? Yeah. Yeah. His life's work. Cause he's working on another one, and then he's like, oh shit, and he's like yeeted it. Oh, on another brain. Oh, wow. oh right, right, yeah. No, I remember that. I was like, wait, he, he was making the brain in the first one. Yeah, I do have a secondary sprout. I'm really hoping that the roots aren't intertangled because that's going to be a bitch to separate. Yeah. So it's probably going to die. I was talking to Andrew about it, who does a little bit of botany himself, but he uh, he said that uh, worst case scenario, the bigger one is going to eat and kill the little littler one. Yeah. Best case scenario. Worst case scenario, the little one kills the big one. Yeah, I, well, I do know which one is which. I know that the bigger one is the one that I want to keep because, you know, it's obviously bigger. Because if the littler one kills the big one, right, then I just lose a shit ton of progress from growing that stuff. Oh, well, I know that. I'm just saying, like, I'm hoping that I can harvest these things uh, before summer or around summer so we can do that salsa. Yeah. Salsa. I actually, you know what, I just recently, speaking of the salsa thing, um, not last night, but a few nights ago, um, I found that comedian that me and my brother always quote with the, uh, the salsa thing. Um, yeah, no, I found the video. It's, it was from a stand-up special that he did in like 2013. Um, and I don't know how this guy's not more, you know, popular or mainstream or something like that. I fucking love this dude. He's fucking hilarious. Um, and, uh, he was, you know, talking shit about Chipotle and, uh. <laughs> And she's like, I love going to Chipotle. It's so great. <laughs> it's like, God forbid you ask them for guac. Everybody freaks the fuck out. And this is like, uh, like I, I, I can't do a good impersonation as he does, but it's, it, it, you have to watch it. It's really funny. After this live stream, I'm going to pull it up. Hey, what's up? Hey. Like, 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 go pick up pizza. Like a frozen pizza, or like we're talking like from a pizzeria? Okay. Fuck yes. Cool. Well, I mean, it's, you know, cl what? It's cl yeah, I know that happens sometimes. I turn the quality all the way up. I don't know what happened. I'm not even online either, you know? It's like, I don't, I don't understand why. Okay. But uh, yeah, we, uh, it's the end of the month. We probably should use those coupons before they expire. Oh, those are still in the refrigerator. No, the ones in the fridge. Oh, those ones? Yeah. No, I just, I haven't tried. It said at participating locations, and I don't oh, know. Yeah? I just never tried. Or maybe we did try, and I just, you know, I'm stupid. Yeah. 
You know you're from Chicago when you're ordering shit tons of Rosati's. That or either that or like you got like Giordano's, Lou Malnati's, you know, Chicago pizza joints. Yeah, I know. But those are like the one, like everybody that I talk to, they're just like, oh, that's for tourists. I'm like, well, I'm not a tourist and I fucking love the pizza, you know? Yeah, pizza tourist. Also, again, speaking of tourists, like, I don't know why. I, I, I've mentioned this before on a previous live stream. There was, um, um, uh, if you go to the Ogilvy train station in Chicago, right? I've, I've said this before in, uh, in, in videos, oh, yeah. right? Where there's the, uh, um, there's a New York pizza place in the train station at Chicago at Ogilvy. And, um, they have, like, genuine, like, legit New York pizza, and it's fucking weird. And the only reason why it's weird is because it's in Chicago, right? And, uh, I got bored one time, and, like, I take, uh, the Metro train to Ogilvy to, uh, to go to Comic-Con every year. Not every year, but, um, um, and I, I, I get on in Geneva, and I get off at Ogilvy in Chicago, and there's a shuttle bus... Uh, right outside the train station that'll take you to comic-con for free. So it's great You know, all I have to do is pay for my train ticket and then get off at Ogilvy and then go to um, uh, Go to comic-con right and that's exactly what I do and uh, If I have time before the shuttle bus, right? I'll go to the pizza place just cuz I'm fucking bored. It's in the train station and, like it's really no skin off my nose, right? And uh, I'll get like a big fucking fat slice of New York pizza just because, you know, I'm, you know, I'm bored, you know, and it's, it's really, it's not, you know, I know this is really like a sin for Chicagoans where it's just like, it's actually somewhat decent, you know, and, uh, the, 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 the slice that I would get all the time, it's like, honey, honey, it's like, it's like the, 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 the one slice is this fucking big, right? And the one that I would get, I would get no marinara, I would get the white sauce with mushrooms, right? And it's fucking delicious and it's like you know you talk to other people in chicago and they're just like oh it's blasphemy new york pizza i'm like well then why is it at the train station in chicago you know and if memory serves me right i want to say the place is called jet's pizza no fuck i don't remember what it's called damn it but i know where it is assuming it's still there it's next to the taco bell i know i, I think right i don't know oh taco bell also, speaking of Antonio Banderas, wasn't he the voice of the Chihuahua for a while? For Taco Bell? Yeah, he was the- I think he was the voice of the Chihuahua for a while. And like, I don't remember why necessarily, but I think they got rid of him. And I'm like, why? And then, um, I know, uh, Gabriel Iglesias is, uh, trying to get that role because he really wants it for some reason. I mean, honestly, if Gabriel Iglesias was the voice of the uh, Taco Bell dog, I would fucking, you know, get more Taco Bell than I already do. Uh. I just think, you know, Taco Bell's great. I've been keeping my eye out for another fish. For another, uh, for another, uh, possibility of getting uh, another Neon Tetra. This has got to be it, right? It's fucking huge. Look at this thing. It was way too big. I don't even know what this is. I just know that they're in the river. Why the fuck are they in the river, by the way? Honestly. Hey, it's a black bass. That's real nice. Turn up the bass. Chipotle. Can you find the tortilla? Like, my brother... My brother works at Lou Malnati's. And... Uh, him and his co-workers quote that dude all the time. And so I jokingly said to my brother, how funny would it be if I called up Lou Malnati's and like one of your co-workers picked up and it wasn't you. 
and I'm like, can you find the tortilla? Like, God damn, I can't, I can't do it on the spot. And then like, she's like, can I get some guac? Can you get your meat claw out of the salsa? God damn it. All I did was scratch my ear for a sec. Can I get some guac? I mean, I know they don't have guac at Lou Malnati's. I know that, but you know, I'll just, I'm just gonna like, what? Cause like, here's what I'm gonna do, right? I'm just gonna call up uh, Lou Malnati's like once a day. And like, I don't care who answers the phone, but like, can I get some guac? I wonder how long before they block my phone number. <laughs> and then like, you know, you know, my brother's coworkers are gonna be just talking and my brother's gonna overhear it. And then like, you know, one of the coworkers, the, like one of the phone girls or whatever is be like, yeah, this dude keeps calling like every day asking for guac. You know anything about that? My brother's gonna be like, oh. <laughs> gonna get a text one day. Fuck you. <laughs> I mean, you know, this is live on stream. Anybody could be watching, but like, you know, if my brother, you know, my brother just be like, oh yeah, that, that's, my, that's my asshole brother. I'm like, why are you calling me an asshole, dude? I'm a paying customer, you know? I'm gonna start doing that. I'm just gonna randomly call up Lou Malnati's and just be like, no, can I get some guac? Like, what? Yeah, like, like your biggest size is guac. <laughs> yeah, like, and I'm like, sir, we don't have guacamole. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, so how much is it? <laughs> <laughs> the guy on the phone was just gonna hang up on me. I was like, no, I no, we, we don't have guacamole. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, how much is it though? <laughs> Can I get extra guac? Sir, we don't. Guacamole. <laughs> Can I get an extra large? <laughs> That's like those fucking people at uh, uh, Portillo's who are just like, yeah, can I get a medium? There's, that pisses me off. There's, there's this guy that comes to work and he asks about every fucking item on the, the menu every fucking time. Only get the same fucking thing that he always gets. And she's like, dude, come on. And my coworker, Colin, was having none of it. He was just like, he came in, like, again. And Colin was like, no, we ain't playing today. What do you want? And he's like, what do you mean? He's like, you get the same fucking thing every day. Are you getting that or no? And he goes, yeah. <laughs> he's just a dumb teenager, and he knows he's being an asshole. Oh, it was a teenager? I thought it was, like, a middle-aged dude. No, he's, it's, his te it's his, some teenager and his friend in the car. Are they high? No, they're just stupid. All right. Do they ask for a medium though? No, I'm talking about at where I went now. Oh, okay. I was like, wait. I thought my coworker's name would have. Uh... You know what? Yeah, no, I didn't pick up on that because you, 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 Quan, right? Yeah. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, hey. Do you want to talk to me, Mitch? What's up? Hi. Oh, hey there, sweet Jay. I noticed lately I've been saying Patreon too much. I mean, a lot Patreon. Uh, support us on Patreon. Uh. Should I should I keep Midge's catchphrase as Patreon? Oh, well, she's a bird. You could do it like Twitter for Yeah, it's yeah. You're right. I think it's time for a change. Uh, wait. I don't want to swap one bad habit for another. A lot of the people I have uh, suck my dick. Nope. All right. How would you like Waffle Mick on this? Waffle Mick? Yes. <laughs> I guess. I had a conversation with a coworker the other day about Waffle Makers. Really? How did that go? I don't remember. All right. Um, I just said something about if we could have Waffle Makers make this. 
God damn it. I'm fucking one character off again. Go ahead and follow us on Twitter, you know. I was one character off. I had the fucking at symbol. Oh, what? Okay, wait, hold on. Okay, so it's not the it's not the character, it's it's the size of the character, you know. Oh weird. You know what, wait, in my Twitter handle, is it hold on. Is it even is it like a white girl where I can't even? This, the, the, the lotion? Uh, uh, yes, yeah, right there on the counter. I'm looking, I'm looking right at it. Alright, well, I can't seem to fit the at sign, so. Did I get that right? Yes. Okay, go home mid so I can check out your house. I'm gonna, oh Jesus, I'm gonna drop a big old Jason TX94 bomb on you, Jason TX94. Holy shit. Yeah, because you know I'm a bomb, you know. You didn't know before, you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Midge is coming for you. Midge is like the Duolingo bird. Okay, for some weird reason, I can't get people to, to go into their houses. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end the stream and then I'm gonna come back in like an hour. Why uh, Oh, that was from the other night when I got pissed off. Like, oh, Jesus. I couldn't um, get the DVD to burn for Sarah's wedding video. No, god damn it. All right, that's a great way to end off the stream. All right. My name is been Jason Fisher. I'll see you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. And uh, support us on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, page no. Discord and Instagram. I, I fucking... My own intro. All right, peace out, guys.